Welcome to another episode of Art Making Beyond Woo. My name is Jason. Just having having landed a little bit more in the the way the art was coming together taking a lot of time out and exploring voice and all that kind of stuff. I think, uh, I don't know, I'm at like 30 or 30 or so paintings. These would, these are all newer from like new things that I've done since the first of the year. How it was all coming together and realizing like, yeah, okay, I feel like I have something that I feel good about like showing. Yeah, so I sat with that for a little bit, not really knowing exactly what the next step was going to be, but just staying grounded in it, you know, and putting myself out there a little bit more. I wasn't too sure what was coming next. I just felt like something was coming because I was ready and everything was ready, so... My buddy Brian had uh, got in contact with me and we were just catching up. He needed some help with some things like graphic design stuff. Uh, so so then Brian comes in with these uh, this pedal, which is amazing, by the way. But like, yeah, it just blew me away with all these guitar pedals that he's he made himself like he's done engineered all the circuits and all that kind of stuff and it just really blew me away okay. it was a nice opportunity for me to be able to like go back into the toolbox and use these skill sets that I've had for decades that I with the technology and things like that it was it was a blast yeah once we got atomic tone all set up and I got their website built uh, we got a bunch of photos done got that photo shoot and the video of the demo and he had another guy doing a demo too um, so it's it's all kind of like rolling out now So right after that, um, then my buddy Desmond just hit me up out of the blue to join him on on this trip over to the Monterey Jazz Festival. Yeah, I couldn't thank Desmond enough for that because uh, it was just an amazing experience for me. And we're all a bunch of musicians. Um, Desmond and I used to work at Guitar Center together. How awesome was that that he thought of me to bring along to this trip over to the Monterey Jazz Festival to be able to embrace and and just go go along with the opportunity how powerful it is when you can get grounded enough to really be able to trust what arises you know the universe revealing to me in a way the trustworthy friend to lead me on this sort of like path out you know I'm still doing my art practice every day so I didn't I didn't have to like give up anything too much of my daily practice and my art making um, just the the healing nature of interacting with friends you know um, friends and family kind of stuff um, just has a tendency to allow more more of me to come out in new ways uh, when I had shifted gears to focus on the art <clears throat> I had this whole um, idea for an Etsy shop and I've always been into graphic tees and all that kind of stuff so that's kind of one of the things I'm realizing how some of my 
style or my voice, it's really kind of calling from this, like, these 90s memories of wanting to, wanting to get into screen printing to make apparel and shirts and, and learning how to do all that kind of stuff, which I did over time. Um, but this, there was definitely something, uh, calling me back to that over recent years and so I had developed like this whole idea for a brand and I just hadn't got around to like launching it honestly um so yeah so this all kind of inspired me to go back through some of that stuff and and open it back up and see what we got and I was really happy with like yeah really happy with what I had done, I didn't realize I did so much. It was like, oh my gosh, there was a lot there to work with. Um, but I like the art that I'm working on right now. So I went ahead and took the time to explore what that would be like on the, on the shirts um, and things like that, which I didn't think I was going to really be doing this time. But... I couldn't help it, and I can't help but also love it, so, so yeah, so that's what I've put together is, uh, some just select pieces that I've worked on over the last couple of years, and then, um, putting those on mostly just the shirts, I'm not really gonna get too carried away with it, uh, cause I have done it before, and really just the, the shirts, yeah, the graphic tees and apparel has always kind of been my jam. So anyway, just kind of starting off somewhere. And uh, yeah, really liking the vibe. And it's getting some good responses so far on Etsy. So anyway, if anything like that sounds interesting to you guys, <laughs> little uh, you'll see it pop up here. And yeah, it just really brought me back to understanding better the things that I really like, like really like, the things that I really connect to that feel like they are parts of me. There's parts of me that are really bringing them forward in a way that I feel like hasn't necessarily been done by anyone else. But not, it's not even that so much that I just feel that connected to the to this work. Um, so that's that was kind of the biggest part, which I don't know that I've ever really had before. I've never been um, this rewarded or excited about work that I've done. Um, I never thought I would be doing this kind of work, so this is all very like new to me uh, in a lot of ways, I should say. Um, yeah, so just uh, having the opportunity to be able to share all this with everyone else now uh, it has been really, really exciting and really what uh, it does excite me. It, it interests me to learn more about how to do these kinds of things. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, I don't exactly need to know where it all goes either, but um I do need to figure out a sustainable model of um, being able to support myself and this is definitely the closest I could ever have imagined getting to so <laughs> yeah um, yeah so joining this sort of rebirth this starting re reboot rebooting some of these projects that got shelved um, over time and yeah it's like super uh, very fulfilling and satisfying just to see how it's coming together it really is like beyond the type of stuff I ever would have imagined um, just due to my own you know personal limitations um, that I would have let drive me to different outcomes, you know, safe, the safe things, <laughs> the staying in Photoshop and Illustrator and having all that kind of control and stuff, 
you know, this is the first time I haven't done any any of that really. Uh, even the like the logo work that I did for the Mythic merch, um, I did do it when I did have Illustrator. But it came together very quickly, and I don't even remember. It was like bits and pieces of a ton of different things put together to make this idea translate. Um, you know, transformative, transformational. But in a fresh way, I guess. It all just sort of happened. Um... Which is usually how it goes for me. That's how most of my, the better bits tend to work out that way. So, listening to that intuitive self, that intuitive nature, and I've been learning more about, or just learning how to clean that connection up, I guess, and how to keep it tuned in to the higher thoughts, the better places, the better ideas. Um, yeah, so these are like my recent bits of progress that I'm really excited about. Uh, uh, and I do invite you to check it out. I think there's a little bit of something for everybody kind of kind of thing. Uh, as best that I as best that I could anyway. If you're interested in learning more about the the wearable art on graphic tees and stuff, um, I'll leave a link to the Etsy shop. Access to available work that is for sale um, and other other work that's coming along. Uh, so yeah, check it out when you get a chance. Thanks again for joining me on this episode of Art Making Beyond Woo.